The Battle of Tours, also known as the Battle of Poitiers, was a significant conflict that took place in October 732 CE. It was a pivotal moment in European history, marking the halt of Islamic expansion into Western Europe. The battle was fought between Frankish forces, led by Charles Martel, and an invading Muslim army from the Umayyad Caliphate, commanded by Abdul Rahman al Ghafiqi. This confrontation is often credited with shaping the future of Europe, preserving its Christian identity, and preventing further Islamic incursions into the continent. The historical backdrop of the Battle of Tours is crucial to understanding its significance. During the early 8th century, the Umayyad Caliphate was one of the largest empires in the world, stretching from the Iberian Peninsula in the west to the Indus River in the east. The Muslims had successfully crossed into Spain from North Africa in 711 and swiftly conquered most of the Iberian Peninsula. By the 720s, Muslim forces had moved northward, crossing the Pyrenees into what is now modern-day France. This expansion was part of a broader effort to extend Islamic influence and control across Europe. The Frankish kingdom, at that time, was under the rule of the Merovingian dynasty, but real power rested with the mayors of the palace, the chief administrative officers who governed on behalf of the Merovingian kings. Charles Martel, a skilled military leader and the mayor of the palace, effectively ruled the Frankish territories. He had spent years consolidating his power and reforming the Frankish military, developing a strong and disciplined army that would prove crucial in the upcoming battle. The Muslim advance into Frankish territories was met with initial success. After securing control over parts of Aquitaine and defeating Duke Odo of Aquitaine in 732, the Muslim forces moved northward with the aim of capturing the rich and fertile lands of central France. Charles Martel, recognizing the threat posed by the Muslim army, quickly mobilized his forces and prepared to meet the invaders. He understood that the outcome of this battle would determine the future of his kingdom and potentially the fate of Christian Europe. The exact location of the Battle of Tours is not known with certainty, but it is believed to have taken place somewhere between the cities of Tours and Poitiers, near the River Loire. Charles Martel positioned his forces strategically choosing a defensive position on high ground, which provided his troops with a tactical advantage. The Frankish army, primarily composed of infantry, formed a tightly knit phalanx, presenting a formidable barrier against the cavalry-dominated Muslim forces. The Muslim army, led by Abdul Rahman al Ghafiqi, was composed largely of Berber and Arab cavalry, known for their speed and mobility. Confident in their previous victories and numerical superiority, the Muslim forces launched a series of attacks on the Frankish lines. However, the Franks held their ground, utilizing their disciplined infantry formations to repel the cavalry charges. The battle was fierce and bloody, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. The turning point of the battle came when Frankish scouts reportedly located the Muslim camp and began plundering it spreading rumors of a retreat among the Muslim ranks. Distracted and concerned about their plunder, sections of the Muslim army disengaged from the battle to protect their camp. This shift allowed the Franks to mount a counterattack, focusing their efforts on the remaining Muslim forces. During this critical moment, Abdul Rahman al Ghafiqi was killed, causing further disarray and panic among the Muslim troops. Leaderless and demoralized, the Muslim army began to withdraw, marking the end of the battle. The victory at Tours had significant and far-reaching consequences for both the Franks and the broader course of European history. Charles Martel's success solidified his power and prestige, earning him the nickname the Hammer for his decisive victory. This battle halted the Muslim advance into Western Europe and is often credited with preserving the Christian character of the continent. While some historians debate the extent of its impact, there is no doubt that the battle was a turning point that influenced the subsequent development of European civilization. The aftermath of the Battle of Tours saw the retreat of Muslim forces back to the Iberian Peninsula, where they maintained control for several more centuries. However, the defeat at Tours marked the end of large-scale Muslim incursions into Western Europe. 
The Franks, under Charles Martel's leadership, continued to consolidate their power and expand their territory. Charles Martel's descendants, notably his grandson Charlemagne, would go on to establish the Carolingian Empire, which played a crucial role in shaping medieval Europe. In the broader context of Islamic history, the Battle of Tours did not significantly alter the course of the Umayyad Caliphate, which continued to flourish in the Iberian Peninsula and other regions. However, it did underscore the limitations of Islamic expansion in Europe and highlighted the challenges of maintaining supply lines and communication across vast distances. The defeat also led to internal divisions within the Muslim leadership, contributing to the eventual decline of the Umayyad Caliphate. The legacy of the Battle of Tours is still debated by historians. Some view it as a decisive moment that saved Europe from Islamic domination, while others argue that its significance has been exaggerated and that internal factors within the Umayyad Caliphate played a larger role in halting their expansion. Nonetheless, the battle remains a symbol of resistance against foreign invasions and is often cited as an example of the determination and resilience of European forces in the face of overwhelming odds. In modern times, the Battle of Tours has been interpreted and reinterpreted through various lenses, often reflecting contemporary political and cultural attitudes. It has been used as a rallying point for nationalist and anti-Islamic sentiment, as well as a reminder of the complex interactions between different cultures and religions throughout history. The battle serves as a testament to the enduring impact of historical events and the ways in which they continue to shape our understanding of the world. The Battle of Tours stands as a significant milestone in the history of Europe, marking a moment when the continent's fate hung in the balance. The bravery and strategic acumen of Charles Martel and his forces in the face of a formidable enemy left an indelible mark on the course of history influencing the development of European civilization and the relationship between the Christian and Muslim worlds. As such, it remains a topic of fascination and study for historians and enthusiasts alike, offering insights into the complexities of warfare, leadership, and cultural exchange in the medieval era.